Hello and welcome to the LNUR Branch Line podcast for LEGO Train fans. Today we're talking to Levi Reed, who is the chair of the newly founded LNUR TFOLS group for LEGO uh, train fans in their teenage years. Um, so the TFOL group accepts members from 14, 20 years old when they're eligible for membership of the main LNUR group. Um, and the idea is um, for LNUR to provide a little bit of support, um, but for Levi to um, help create a Lego train group for um, teenage Lego fans and perhaps look at exhibiting at some shows once they're, once they're open after the COVID lockdown. Um, so I'm going to give Levi a chance to introduce himself here. Hello, I'm Levi. I'm obviously the new chairman of the LNUR TFOL group. Uh, I'm 16 years old myself, so I'm sort of dead middle of the age range. Hopefully, you know, I can sort of stick around for a few years while it all gets set up. Uh, I'm based in the south of England. Uh, yeah. Great. Thanks, Levi. Um, so we have a couple of questions from you, including some from uh, the LNUR members further down. Uh, so the first one, and a, a really important one for any LNUR member, is um, are you a steam or a diesel locomotive fan? Um, I'm going to say steam, but <laughs> that, that, I, I like them both. It's just steam is a, has a little bit more of an edge because they look nicer. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure that I'm sure that will cause some um, booing when other LNUR members are, are listening. There, there's no right answer for that one, really. Um, Great. So how long have you been into building Lego trains? Um, I think really forever. My, I've got the uh, red from the city range uh, one Christmas. And that was the first train I'd had in Lego. And I had that for several years. And then I persuaded my family to buy the Winter Village one to go yeah. around our Christmas tree. And then it all sort of went off the rails from there. <laughs> Yep, it definitely does. Once you've got one, you need more, and then you need more track, and then you need all the infrastructure and the buildings to go with it as well. Um, so do you have a favourite model that you've built um, yourself, a sort of custom model that you're... Um, I think it would have to be my patchwork schools class engine. Um, we'll try and get a photo of that to uh, yeah. link in the description for this, um, so people can have a look. It's a um, model. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I've only got two built, my 16-inch Hunslet Newstead and the Patchwork Schools class. Um, the schools class is bigger, has a tender, and is rainbow-coloured, which is always a bonus. <laughs> um, so do you, do you tend to prefer designing LEGO models digitally, or do you prefer building them sort of in the brick? I, I, I mean, when I, whenever I first build an engine, it's definitely do it digitally first but I prefer building it once I've got the bricks and I know what I'm doing and all sorts. But I've got probably about 10 engines designed digitally that are just waiting for me to get around to building. <laughs> you probably just add to that number. I think quite yeah. a few of our members have got... A I, I added of... two to the list today. <laughs> um, are there any other build Lego builders or designers out there that you admire? Not necessarily for trains, I suppose, but um, sort of... there are there are certainly quite a few. Um, Isaac Smith, Andrew Harvey, Trace Pierce, they they come to mind. All um, I really like I really like Michael Gale's layout and the landscaping and all of that, and that sort of sort of detail I kind of hope to achieve one day. It, that layout it's um farum isn't it Fair yeah right? um and it is absolutely superb so we'll try and link to that in the podcast as well and um, there's some great videos of it running um on his i think it's on his Flickr account um so why why do you think having a group for teenage lego fans is important well if if you think about it logically with the sort of next generation of lego train builders and i haven't really seen much support out there uh, a few things have popped up over the last few months but nothing really major enough to kind of unify a, a bunch of us and i mean ba most builders adult builders at one point did own lego as a teenager and i'm sure many people 
kind of can relate to not having any support or any any groups that they could join specifically for teenagers yeah i think that's right there was certainly nothing um as a teenage lego fan myself many years ago there was certainly nothing that i could join um and i think things like facebook probably make that a bit easier these days because you can you can run things digitally especially helpful if you're locked locked down at home and um you know lego shows aren't on at the moment so yeah i think um i think i agree with that uh we now have a couple of questions from um lnur members so trace asks what inspirations do you look for when you're choosing a, a model of a locomotive or something like that to build well at the moment it's more person that i've always enjoyed or are engines that i'm around a lot when i'm volunteering at a local railway um i I seem to have um exhausted that list though so i'm now looking at engines that haven't been built before or engines that have only been built once or twice and aren't very used anymore but unusual prototypes yeah yeah that i mean i've got a I've got plans to build all the BR standards at w- one day, but I think that'll be a bit of a long way away at this rate. That might keep you busy for a while. Um, another question from Trace is how do you balance um, builds with your budget for Lego? Um, there isn't really much balancing involved. It's just when I have money, I buy bricks. That's about it. Um, <laughs> I know that it, feeling. It, it often ends up with me purposely having to save to get an engine. But other than that, it's not really a, it's more, I'll, I'll save my money when I have something I need to buy, which at the moment is always. Oh yes, it's an endless list. Um, we'll go to a question from uh, Matt Dawson, who's our usual uh, LNUR Line podcast producer. And Matt asks, uh, which do you prefer, six, seven, or eight wide locomotives? Six. Six all the way. Oh. It's a lot lot simpler to build with, and uh, I quite enjoy it. It's quite... I, I enjoy the simplicity of it while having to have the, the shape of it correct so the engine's recognisable. Yeah, it is quite a good technical challenge at that width. Um, okay. Chris asks, and Chris has many questions, as as usual, um his first question is do you plan to build any underground railways because he asks no. everybody <laughs> and he answers, exactly the answer is always no chris no I, I, I may build a railway in a mountain one day but that, that very well may be a narrow gauge thing oh cool we do like narrow gauge jamie will be happy um <laughs> what is your favorite locomotive and why is it the gronk and that's another question from chris in case you hadn't guessed why am I not surprised? Um, I, I, I do like a Gronk, but my favourite engine would probably be the school's class or a Tornado. Both solid choices for um, some fans, I think. Um, yeah. A final one from Chris there. Um, do you own your own personal layout or are you more interested in building locomotives and rolling stock to go with them i i don't well i i'm working on a, a quite a significantly sized uh, terminus station uh, based on tunbridge wells west at the spa valley um i think it's going to be a case of me building a layout and then building more trains but yeah <laughs> it's a difficult balance it's nice to have long rakes of things but you also need A bit of scenery, I think. Um, Mm. Great. Thanks, Levi. It's been great talking to you um, about the the T4 groups and a little bit about um, yourself and your preferences for Lego trains as well. Um, So just to sum up, the LNUR T4s um, is on our website, so you can have a little bit of a look at some information there. It's LNUR Railway, lnurailway.co.uk, forward slash TFOL, T-F-O-L-S. Um, or you can just go on the website and it's under the about section uh, on the LNUR website Um, and it is a train club for Lego teenage fans aged 14 to 18 
Um, membership will cost £10 a year, um, but we're not going to introduce that for a while just to get the group to a sort of reasonable size. Um, and after that, um, we'll be able to access uh, LNUR member bricks and all sorts of other bits. Um, so just take a look at the website for more information. Thanks for listening.